So this is a poor man's fuse panel for an LS1 swap. Basically you have the battery up here, you have, have two main relays, and then a fuel pump, and two fan relays, and then all your fuses, and I'll attach a copy of the spreadsheet to the posting for this. So this connector basically was on the bottom of the GM fuse panels. Comes on every single one of them. Basically fits right into there. You pull the wires out. And so I have uh, two main relays. Let me get a video. Two main relays. There we go. Two main relays at the top. This one and that one. They have two fan relays and then a fuel pump relay. And I got my jumpers. And I have wires that come over here. And then I have a uh, $8 fuse panel. I use uh, seven fuses. This, two of them are for bank one. Two of them are for bank two. Then we have fan one, fan two, and the fuel pump relay, and then I got a spare. Um, and that's about the cheapest way you can do it. Um, take the connectors. This is what oh, all of these pins used to be in the bottom of that, on the bottom side. And then you take a quarter inch drive extension, you can pound out the bolt through the middle of that. You can pound it out that way. Um, and then uh, basically this is the other other type of it. So it has a screw that holds it in. If you're just going to do a couple relays, you can use this um, as a cover on the bottom. And then this this cover here is on the bottom of that one. So when I'm all done, I'll put this, clean this up and stick it on the bottom of it. So that's about the cheapest and the simplest way of uh, doing a fuse panel, at least what I've found. And then uh, building a wiring harness for uh, for five three that's going into a 69Z28. So, and that's kind of in about three quarters of the way done with it. Another donor harness. And then uh, these are all wires that I've pulled out of harnesses. So, um, it's a lot of work, but you know, if you got more time than you got uh, money, it just works.